Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to the latest issue of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, uh, we're going to follow up on the integration of the Arduino with Garble into the Probotics uh, Fireball V90 setup system. Again, this is a uh, legacy, about six year old system. Uh, again, originally driven by Mach 3 through the parallel port. What we're doing is we're converting it now to utilize the whole existing infrastructure uh, to work from the Arduino and, and Garble. So we have got it set up on the laptop. We're using the G code sender. We have the Arduino uh, that you saw in the prior videos that's been flashed with uh, version .9 of Garble and we have it all wired in. Again, as I mentioned in the prior video, one of the things that we did was had to tie out all the enables to ground, so basically see the ground going to the breadboard, and then all the enables through here. Also, as, you, as I mentioned in the prior video, um, when we were looking at schematics of the board, uh, we see here we've got the step and directions tied out, pins two through seven. And so, and, and ground. So it's very, actually a very simple interface circuit. So again, don't get intimidated with all these. You notice these empty ones are simply the unused pins. I, I just did all 25 of them. Uh, I will be probably cleaning this up. In the a finished product, uh, I'm going to build a custom cable that integrates this. I've ordered some headers. In the short term, you notice what I've done is actually used hot glue to join these all together. So. I can take the board off, add the board back, etc., without having to lose the way the pins are. Now, for some reason, some of, and, I, and I'm not sure if it's the order uh, which the steppers are plugged into or something, but uh, the, the, the X and the Z seem to be uh, flipped where they should be. So, again, I would suggest first experimenting with. Um, as I've done here with the breadboard, see how everything works, make sure you got everything working uh, before you commit to a final build. So again, uh, my, my final build will be far cleaner than all this and um, uh, again, we'll probably integrate this into a separate case because this is kind of full, uh, but I'll run the cable out just as the old parallel cable which you can see back here uh, was run through and uh, probably 3D print another box for the Arduino with a fan. And, and cool it. Uh, because one of the big things is I, I did not want to uh, really change the base design of this because I want to be able, <coughs> excuse me, to go back to Mach 3 if I need to or want to. Again, Mach 3 really is a great program. Uh, if if I was running a full time you know CNC shop, uh, I mean that would definitely be it. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, but for most of the hobbyist stuff we do around the lab here and, and just, you know, getting stuff done, it, it's just way too much overhead in the whole workflow as I've covered in, in the, the, the previous episode. So, one of the things kind of want to, you know, go over a little bit, and, and again, um, have the G-code sender up here running, and you can kind of hear in the background that, uh, you know, the, you can hear the motors running on the uh, probiotic and we'll actually jump over there and I'll show you a piece of that but again I wanted to show kind of the basics oh and, and the black cable here I basically got the emergency stop from the bore taking the ground uh, I actually don't think that does anything um, again we talked about it a little bit in the past video about how the um, uh, you know the signal pin over here for bore reset uh, probably pulls the enable low so again this really doesn't do anything but again as I was sort of troubleshooting getting it working I had hooked it up and I just haven't unhooked it yet uh, so again that, that, that's pretty basic stuff so what I'm going to do is uh, turn the camera around and adjust it a little bit so pardon the, the jiggling so again we're going to go over here we're going to look at the uh, just the tripod a little bit and here we go here is the the Probotic V90. Uh, again, uh, you see it's running the bigger porter cable, spindle, uh, it's got the bigger steppers uh, back in the day. Um, you know, I got the tricked out model. Um, 
it's got a little long in the tooth, but it's still a good machine. Uh, the other thing that we also did while we were looking at it, uh, 3D printed off sort of a dust shoe for it. Again, vacuum connector goes on top of here, uh, hose comes down through here. We've also put a laser center on it, so the offset for the laser center, so it can mark it on the piece. And then again, just recenter, rehome to the um, uh, spindle itself. So again, very, very nice little setup. So what we're going to do, just to kind of show that this works, is we're going to send um, a basic job to the the machine and see what happens. Now, one of the things I have noticed, and I don't know, I think it's in, in Garvel itself or the sender, is when I send a file, I've got to send it, and I got to press pause, then I got to press resume, and then the machine takes off and does its thing. So I think it's just a little idiosyncrasy, but um, as you can see, the machine is running by itself. It's running. Uh, just uh, some circle G code to cut a circle. And uh, motors are moving under control of uh, Garvel. So, again, very excited how simple this was and really look forward um, to integrating this with, uh, uh, for example, Easel and Chili Pepper and really uh, kind of coming up, you know, six years because one of the things we really stopped using this about five years ago, a number of different reasons. Uh, one of the big ones is day job. But also, because of the day job, uh, it took so long to do something with it, it just, just wasn't practical. Again, by the time you went through the entire workflow of catting it, camming it, post-processing it, feeding it into Mach 3, and, and really, to be frank, one of the things with Mach 3, if you don't use it every day, you sort of forget how to use it, and that was one of the big problems is I was continually having to go back re every time I wanted to use it, reteach myself Mach 3. And again, with this, very simple, utilizing something like Easel to go through and do it. So, as you can see, it ran through, it did a circle, uh, rehomed itself, which is a feature that I, I really like. Um, and there you go. So, if you have any questions, kind of hit me up down below, check out uh, www.diy3dtech.com. Again, like us uh, down below. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be putting out more video as we do more of this. Uh, again, we have another project in the works building a 2D uh, laser cutter. Uh, we're going to build it from the ground up with the machine. Actually, we're going to uh, use a laser diode in it. The first generation for experimentation, we're going to take one out of a DVD. But I've also ordered from China a 2 watt laser diode hopefully to cut thicker stuff like corrugated cardboard, etc. Really want to experiment with that um, and then maybe moving up to a, a 40 watt, 50 watt unit uh, if it makes sense from there. Uh, again, kind of struggle with um, the 40, 50 watt units, again, having the 3D CNC router um, kind of figuring it out and then having to vent it and do all the other stuff is kind of a, a chore too. But anyways, Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look forward to hearing comments about how you converted your probiotic fireball to garble. Cheers.